All right. Let's go ahead and introduce finals match two, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to have you follow me so you can see each of these different teams. So we're over here on the Red Alliance. We have our first team here. They were the second pick, but they are no slatches. From when they started back a couple years ago, they have been powerhouses. They have been winning rookie awards. They've been winning every single thing. But will this be their first district championship win and first event win in team history? And just like their name, are they due to go west to Houston to get gold? at Houston, let me introduce you to Team 8575. The Dew Westerners with Mr. Ed. Now, for these next two, a little interesting. They've done this before together three separate times. I would say they're the Stephen Clay of the Peachtree District, and they're possibly proving me right. In 2022, back here at Mercer University, they won the Peachtree District Championship together. Then we joined together with South Carolina. Unfortunately, they didn't make it. But they decided to run it back. And now they're one win away from winning another title together. Now, for this team right here, for 365 days, they have been number one. They have the number one autonomous or one of the top autonomous routines in the world. They have one of the top playoff routines in the world. And as of this last match, they own the world high score. Let me introduce you to team 1771. North Gwinnett Robotics with their butt toothless. Now I told you, between the two of these guys, they have five blue banners just in this season. But these guys, they don't need really an introduction. They got 31 blue banners in team history. Now, I will say, these guys were number one at every event except for one right here. But it didn't matter because now they're about to win another championship with someone that they've joined with already. So let me introduce you to team 2974. Walton Robotics with their butt, Shasti. Now, come and follow me for a little bit. We have seen that Peachtree District can't be messed with. The South had something to say. We now own the high score in the world. So we know that we build champions here in the Peachtree District with Georgia and South Carolina. So from there, who is facing this number one seed? Number five. They fought through the lower bracket, and now we're bringing them here to be able to see if they are going to be able to win here today. Now, first off, this team is no stranger to excellence. They have won multiple district events. They have had multiple EIs. Now, they need that one blue banner to make it right. First up, Team 6919. The Commodores with their robot high frequency. Now, for this one, coming from South Carolina, there are no slouches as well. As you see right here, this dude was our volunteer of the year in 2023. They have 10 plus blue banners amongst them. Now, here's the thing. When you get in their garage, they're the best in town. Can they win here in the Peachtree District? Let me introduce you to Team 4451. Robots Garage with their bot, Ember. Now, finally, for this last team, you saw them just come in for finals match two. They had a little bit of problem, but they can't overcame. They overcame the adversity, and now they're back here on the field with their nine blue banners. District cha chairmen's now Impact Award winners back in 2021 during the interesting times. Then back in 2019, they were uh, DCMP EI winners. But their last big win on the field, 10 years ago at the Peachtree Regional at the Georgia World Congress Center. Now, will this be their first district championship win? Let's see if it can happen. Let me introduce you to team 1683. The Techno Titans with their robot, Zenith. And now, get ready for a show because this is finals match two.
One, go! And here we go in autonomous. Let's see how many points these alliances can score together. That's 1771. Bam, bam, bam. Walton, bam, bam, bam. That's 85, 75. Bam, bam. That's 45. 44, 51. Bam, bam. On the blue alliance. That was a total of 90 points in autonomous. Is it 61 to 29? With two minutes and 10 seconds left to go. There goes 2974. They're at the side amplifier. Here come some notes flying in the air. There's another one flying in the air. It's 4451. Heads down to the source zone. 1771. All the bots for the Red Alliance at the source zone. Now there's another note goes flying through the air. Here comes 2974 racing down the field. They're got a note in their possession. They're going to drop it in the amplifier. That's worth 10. The, to one point, as the Blue Alliance speaker is lit up. And so is the Red Alliance. Both alliances gaining five points apiece for every note that they score right now. With a minute 30 left to go, we still got a lot of scoring opportunities. There goes 44-51 one more time, scoring two more points for their alliance. As 88-75 at the subwoofer scores two. Walton drops one in the amplifier for one. Here comes the North Gwinnett Robotics team. They're headed down the field, 69-19. Following close behind as they head down towards the amplifier. Drop a note in the speaker, the Commodores. Here goes 44-51 trying to do the same thing. That's 29-74, slides underneath the stage. The Blue Alliance speaker is amplified. There goes 69-19. Trying to catch up to the Blue Red Alliance. That's five points apiece as the robots continue to move up and down the field. The Red Alliance, his speaker is amplified as they try to score five points apiece there as well. It's 86 to 67. The Blue Alliance is hanging in there in match number two. They need this win to stay alive in match number two. Here at the finals here in Georgia, 85-75. They're at stage right for the Red Alliance. 1683, they're just outside of the wing. That's 2974 comes racing down the field. We got 24 seconds left to go. The red speaker is amplified. Five points apiece, there's two. Bam, bam, right there. They got 10 seconds to do that. They're down to there, one second left to go. Amplification period is over. It's 105 to 69 as they continue to move down the field. There's another four points back to back as the high notes are coming from the side. 1683 holding steady as 45. Wow. Too much action. I tell you what, too much action. Y'all saw it right there. A lot of action out on the field. Woo! What a great event we've had so far. What a great finals match. We've already had two world records broken here at this event. Wow. Peachtree District Championships. Macon, Georgia. Mercer University crescendoing here in 2024. Now, as we've done all weekend long, we wait for the Formula One car. They've left the starting grid. This is a long track that they're on, winding around the curves and the turns, the chicanes and the S's, going up and down the hills. As they maneuver around the course, they come up to full speed, rounding that final corner, coming down the start-finish line, where we will see the banner light up one more time as soon as they get around the course. Uh-oh. Looks like we might have a caution on the field. It may slow them down just a little bit. Back in turn seven, they're slowed down. Now they're getting back up to speed. Heading through the S's, over the hill, around the chicanes. Coming around the corner, down the straightaway one more time. Let's see, Red Alliance or Blue Alliance? The Red Alliance is victorious. Our champions, 2024 crescendo here in Macon Mercer University. Congratulations to all the teams on the Blue Alliance. A well-fought battle. Made a lot of music here this weekend as our champions, 2974, 1771, and 8575, will carry the banner home with them this weekend.